Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, are you guys weekend warriors? I know most of you are. You kind of just go out, grab your bag, play your weekend, play your heart out, be competitive, and call it a weekend and go back to work on Monday. Well, I'm going to tell you what the weekend warrior, well, what the ultimate weekend warrior rackets are and should be for you. Stay tuned. All right, so when I go out to the club on the weekends, I see the same guys out there, same ladies out there. Actually, they're out there on the weekdays too. But either way, I call you guys weekend warriors because you guys compete really hard with your same friends every weekend, trying to beat the same people every time. I call you guys Weekend Warriors. Some of you, some of you even join leagues and play, uh, play out your dream, uh, bringing back the old high school days of being super competitive. You should also have fun at it because you guys take it really, really too seriously sometimes. So chill out, people. Okay. It's just a game. You know, it's kind of like what a wise person told me 20 years ago. If you're playing league, you already lost. And he played at a 5-5 level. And he's like, when people get so serious about this stuff, they're like, guys, you already lost. You didn't go pro, and you ain't getting paid for this. So why are you taking it so seriously? Keep that in mind, people. All right? My man John Conlon said that to me. Shout out to him in L.A. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Um, okay. So, weekend warrior rackets. I see a lot of these rackets out there, and I feel like they are the ultimate weekend warrior rackets. You guys should, you know, consider using these if you play, you know, once a week, twice a week, um, pretty competitive, but at a certain level where you need a little help from the racket. Okay. Speaking of a little help, right? I need a little caffeine right now. Mm. I know this is a different cup. It's not from my usual spot. People are probably back to work now. Every time I go in there, there's like 10 deep line. And I'm like, oh man, really? Just for some black coffee? So actually, I, I, I splurged on myself a little bit. Had to go to the bakery and uh, got an Americano instead. Thank you guys for buying my Americano today. If you want to support the channel, support my coffee habit. The network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin link is below thank you all okay weekend warriors let's get started with the rackets for those of you who just need a little bit of power maybe have a little bit of a lighter racket a little bit head heavier we got the pure drive 107 easy to play decent power nice feel Great on the ground game, great on the volley game. Now, most of these rackets that I'm, actually, all of these rackets that I'm going to be telling you about are, you know, men or women, guys. It's it's unisex. Um, both uh, could use it and both would be great using it. So, Pure Drive 107, good for both genders, easy to play, uh, strings, are probably going to be your hardest decision. You want a little more power? Go for that gut. Go for that soft nylon Gamma Professional Triax, uh, TNT React Pro 17. Those type of strings would work super well with this. Or uh, like a combo. Go like Solex 18. Excuse me, Solenco Confidential 18. I call it Solex. With a React 16 at like 50 pounds, you'll get great power and feel out of this racket. So the ultimate, I see a lot of four fives using this now. It's just easy, easy to use. Now there's no particular order. I'm just doing suggestions to you guys, okay? If you need even a little bit more power than that, the 110 is a great option. Even a little more power than the 107, easier more power, easier power. Uh, great on the serve, great on the volley. Um, 
super easy to play with. I've been getting a lot more women into this one. Uh, men seem to love it too. When they demo this racket and they are that type of a player, um, they usually gravitate towards something like this. So the 110. Okay. This is actually a nine ounce racket. I didn't realize that it was so light. Is it really? Yeah. It's super light. <laughs> it's super light, but it's weighted so that it's, it's well balanced. So for you guys uh, stabbing at uh, volleys at the net, this is a good one. I didn't realize it was so light. No wonder people are buying that racket. Now, going down the same path and trend, Ultra 108. I say this is very, very similar to a Pure Drive 107, except that it might have just a smidge more power. And it's a smidge lighter at nine and a half, up before strings. And it's a little head heavier from what I believe it is. So you want that old time hammer feel? This is your new hammer time, okay? The Ultra 108. I've sold a ton of these too. Mostly to men though, for some reason. I think it's an 80-20 split. Men seem to like the feel of this 108, but I see a lot of these out there with you warriors. One of my favorites in this category is that new LX800 yeah, by Dunlop. I actually, this is probably my favorite of the bunch if I had to choose one. Um, easy, easy power. Great feel. They've developed this kind of an elongated string down here in the throat. A little more flex in the throat area. And Dunlop's been known for, you know, having good uh, vibration dampening built in. And this one, you know, is, no, is no different. So in that white definitely stands out. So men and women for this one, I suggest to everybody. So that's my pick actually for this category. Try this one out. I bet you it'll feel just like home. Okay guys, I know you guys still play a lot with the TIS-6, TIS-5. Well, this is the ultimate TIS. This is the extreme power. This also comes in an instinct power form that is pretty much an identical racket to this, except that it's blue. For some reason, the gray and the yellow feel better. I can't explain why. It's just a feel thing, at least for me. Maybe it's a color thing um, or a paint thing, but I just love this version of you know, what I believe to be a TIS six in an extreme power form. But if you guys need it super light, need it super powerful, need it to super go fast, fast, meaning the head going fast through, this is your ultimate racket. If you need this type of power, I suggest you get one of these. And I, I know you guys know how this feels. It's like a TIS six on steroids this particular one is. So check that one out or buy this one. You probably own something just like this already. Now the dark horse of the line, dark horse of, of this whole thing. Um, I know I grabbed an E-Zone 98. I'm going to cover 98 right now. They make an E-Zone 105. It's a very, very lesser known racket in the line. I currently don't have any right now. Um, it is very, very similar to pretty much everything that I've spoken about, like a Pure Drive 107, an Ultra 108, except that it's in a Yonex version. It's actually super light. It's under 10 ounces and it plays really, really well. You know, they thickened up the sides so it's easier power. You still get that great Yonex feel and control with the isometric head shape with the flex. So that's the dark horse. I mean, nobody ever uses it or tries it out there, but it's a great racket that nobody knows about. So E-Zone 105 is what it's called. If, if you see it somewhere, you know, try it, ask to demo it. It's actually 
one of the better ones for you weekend warriors. Okay, so guys, try some of these rackets out. If you're in the market, these are all great. You can't lose with any of them. All right, so for you, all you weekend warriors out there, keep it going. Change your grip. They're getting dirty. Bring it into the shop. They could do it for you professionally. Or do it Coach Chris's way, the pro's way of putting on an overgrip. I'll link that video uh, below here. All right? To all you weekend warriors, keep going. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.